I drive around. What else? Nothing else. Well, you don't drive around from midnight until noon the next day, Rachel. No. Then what do you do? Do you meet someone? Well, meet someone? Why do you say that? Look, this is your business, Rachel. Uh, no, wait, wait! He's a stranger to you. I met him yesterday on the bus for the first time in my life. And in the marketplace, he comes to you right before he's about to die. Is that the act of a casual acquaintance? I know nothing about the man. This would be so much easier if you were to cease to pretend. Now look here. The, the dead man found out what he was sent here to discover. That is why he was killed. He told you what he had discovered. Why? Because he had complete confidence in you, and yet out of 5,000 people... Boy, you, you don't only ask the questions, you answer them also. Wait a minute, I have a question for you. Indeed. Assuming that he trusted me as implicably as you say, I would never reveal anything he said to me. Would I? Even Americans, I suppose, sometimes find it desirable to betray a confidence. Oh, uh, uh sorry. Ah, uh, that's good thinking. Next month we're gonna have a shift in personnel around here, and as far as I'm concerned, you're executive material. I am? I'll put down the key. And... put down the address. I live on the... the second floor. My name isn't there, but... I live... in 2A. Not that I have anything to hide. Oh, no. Uh, certainly not, sir. Anyways, it's... It's still my business. Here you are. I've been waiting... all week... for this party. I thought... I thought, perfect. We'll talk a little and... and then I'll ask her out. I've been wanting to for months, but first she was dating Dean, and then Chris, and then I just... <laughs> All I wanted to do was to hold her hand. smell her hair. <laughs> I 
Now she's down the hall. Fucking him. <laughs>